put in a FNAF mini game as well. My geeky guys and gals, welcome to Five Nights at Torchwood. I'm your host, Mars Geek. I have been waiting for this game a long time. I played a beta a little while back. I had the fortunate pleasure of having the password given to me by the developer to play the beta, which was proven very popular because I was the only one to question why a Dalek and Cyberman would work together. This now, this is the full game. Look down below. Game version Z. Uh, no, not zero. 1.0.2 This is the full game and this is where it's promised to be fleshed out and to have a story why the Dalek and the Cybermen cooperate to bring you down. So let's get into it! Here we go, night one. It's 12 o'clock. Not really, for me it's 2 o'clock. Well, 5 past 2 anyway. So here we go. And... Graphically, looks a bit better. And now notice they've got a mute button down here. So, he's Come implemented a few new things on here. Hi. Welcome Hi. to the hub. I'm Jack, the usual security guard, and I'll be gone for a while, so you'll be taking over for me, which means you'll be the one in charge of this section of Torchwood during the night. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, so uh -huh. what you need to know is that Torchwood is an organization with the goal to secure and protect Great Britain from any aliens and research the aliens and their technology. Our motto is, if it's alien, it's ours. But you probably know this already when signing the documents. Uh, the technology in here is very vulnerable and slash or dangerous and by signing the documents as you did earlier, you are aware of any possible consequences of quitting this job getting fired or spreading any of our information. Yeah, whatever, I don't care about all that because I played through the beta and it's probably the same thing. But it's a FNAF fan base game, so it's pretty much going to be the same. And ah, the dude is looking at me now. So this is the full game. And one thing to mention that right now, as I record this, it's the developer's birthday. <laughs> hey! Happy birthday, Bowie. Well done. Hey, it's broken. Hey, get down. And as for me, it's my birthday in a few days time. F oh, get down. It's my birthday in a few days time from here. So I'm not going to be uploading the video straight away, but it'll be up for my birthday. It's my birthday and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. I think Cyber Dude's here, so I'm just going to cl close that for now. Uh, no, they're fine, they're back there. And not only that, is well, just like with any other beta turned full game, some of the bugs have been squashed on this, which is good. However, one thing to mention, which wasn't... I didn't see it as a bug before until the de developer actually pointed it out, but there was occasion where I still got my sonic screwdriver out, this was on night two, to ward off the silent, and it didn't. But it was an intentional bug to keep the game player on edge, apparently. So I never knew even that. So I'm just going to blast my way through the night, but just like what I did with Boogeyman, I'm only going to keep one night per video. And that's it, one night per video, because when I played my beta game, I was keeping everything, well, roughly around about half an hour long. That was my target, but I wasn't getting a lot of views. So, a little bit of feedback was to keep them short, let people, you know, digest them during their, like, commute to and from work. So now, I keep my videos short. For those that's been keeping around and giving me that feedback, obviously you'll know that, but I'm going to be aware that the developer's watching this video, so that's why I'm saying it again. So I'm keeping the game just to one night, one video per night, and that was it. 
And I do hope that there's going to be something like uh, Night 6, maybe Night 7, and Nightmare Mode. That'd be cool. But I can't wait to get to Night 3 where I've got, um, is it the, um, the little kid with a gas mask coming for me? Are you my mummy? Wait, that's new. I heard like a really, really old timey telephone ring then. Was it a telephone ring? I don't know. Where's Cyberduda? He's there. Okay, you'll just mess around with the camera then, where don't you? What was that? What was that? And that! And that! Is there someone at the door? A Dalek dude's still there. Cyber dude's gone back to his home, so I can unlock that for now. Save a bit of power, not that it's going to be really useful for night one, because usually night ones are the easiest. And if I die, I'll, pro I'll be really quite surprised. But it seems as... He's got voice! I don't think... Um... Oh, he's there, that's right. Well, it's voice! Hey, cool, he's got voice! David Tennant's found his voice. Where's Cyberduda gone? He's there, right? So, kinda cool for now. Yeah, I got 28% left. Alright, Cyberdude's gone. Can open you up. But that probably means I'm gonna have to close this one soon. Yeah, just to be safe. Where be everybody gone? Oh. I do not see no Dalek. Cyberdude is there. Alright, Cy um, Dalek's gone back home, so we're okay for now. Yeah, I think we're pretty cool. We're gonna knock this knight on the head. Where's just the Cyberdude gone? Okay, that's actually a little bit weird. Where's Cyberduda? Dalek dude is the... Oh, he's gone back home. Right, that's right. Get away. That was another bug that was picked up on in the beta as well. Was In Night 2, you get the second thing at the bottom, which brings up your sonic screwdriver to ward off the silent. But it didn't have a delay to it, so... When you put it down, if your mouse was still at the bottom, it immediately would come back up again, so that was not a good thing. And so apparently a delay's now been put in place. So that won't happen, so you're going to have at least some time now to be able to move the cursor away. Uh, oh! He's put in a FNAF mini game as well! That's cool! I mean, it's a bit weird why he's used con the cursor keys rather than um, what there were sad keys. They're just pieces of paper. There's Cyberdudas. Did that kill me? Nope. Uh, yep, yeah, there's Cyberdudas. Alright, so. Nothing there. It says. Dalek Dudas there. Did I just come into this hallway? They're moving closer. Um, guys, I don't want to be in the middle of this battle. You know, just fight amongst yourselves, please. That's fine. Okay. I don't want to be anywhere near this fight. You know, I don't live near Canary Wharf. I've got nothing to do with Canary Wharf. You guys just fight amongst yourselves. Daleks, go back into the void ship and fuck off. Cybermen, just go back through the spatial dimension portal thingy, my bubba. Anyway, as I promised, this is going to be one night, one video. So, that's it for now, my geeky guys and guys. There's a lot more that I wanted to say, but to keep the story rolling, I'm not going to say it now. I'm going to wait until the next video. So, for the time being, if you liked it, smack the like button. If you didn't, smack the dislike button. But if you do dislike, please give me a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to improve the video just for you. And as always, if you want to know when the next video is coming out, smack the subscribe button down there, and I'll see you in the next video. So, bye bye. For now. Gotcha. So I think that's all you need to
know for now. Uh, just remember what I told you. Keep checking those cameras and you should be golden. Once again, good luck and you'll hear from me again tomorrow. Oh! That was decided. Shite. I didn't even know if that... That's a... Oh, got to hold it down and it's different. There's a sharky thing under there now. So a little outro message just purely for the developer. I know you're going to be looking forward for me to play through this game. Uh, but I don't want to be spamming my channel with just one particular type of game. So I will be playing it, but don't expect two or three videos of this every week. I will be playing it. There will be at least one video of this per week, but... That's how I'm going to be running the channel. That's how people want to see the channel being run. A bit of variety. So I'll be playing this, then another game, then a few other games. Coming back to this, vice versa. You know the drill. I don't want to keep things all the same because then if you put yourself into that rut, then it's going to be hard for people to accept change when you come out of that rut. I want to play something different. So I will play it as time goes on. Just be a little bit patient with me, I hope. But anyway, happy birthday to you, fella. I hope it's been a good one.